we are back in the garage for another episode of what? Garage Edition. Um, well, today, what should we do? Hmm. I do have this big old box thing here on the table that says fragile on it. I guess that could be something. Let's open it and see what it is. I know y'all are wondering what's in this box. It's a big box. What could it be? It could be a new exhaust kit. It could be big tires. It could be a Ferrari. Maybe the, I don't know, a seat cover to a Ferrari. But it's not. I ordered this a couple of days ago because I knew I would want to do this build. I've been putting it off for a while. And yes, I done opened it. Stupid box. What is it? Yeah. If I can get it open. Is it? It's a new grill. Ugh. Who needs boxes? We just need the toys. All right. I ordered this sucker. It came in yesterday, just in time to do a, a weekend bill. We have two days to do this. Well, hopefully two days. I, you know. So I ordered this. Um, plastic grill. It's not the sport. I just ordered this one. Um, so what what are we going to do with this one? Well, let's go look at my old. All right. So here's my old grill. Now you're asking why would I switch to the other one? Well, because this one was, well, you see right here, we haven't fixed that yet. This truck was in a wreck. Uh, the bumper, which we put the 500 pound bumper, had the fender, uh, the light. So we had to fix it, you know. She's my baby, I couldn't let it be in total. But the grill, I mean, I went ahead and fixed the grill and everything. It looks good. Um, better. Um, I was trying to fix it real fast so I could, because we was on vacation. There's a video of how I made that out of fiberglass. I just molded it off of a piggy bank. Make sure you check that out on season one. Um, so basically we're going to cut the new grill um, kind of like this, but we're kind of do something else. We do have a little gap that I hate. So we're either going to extend the other grill, the bottom, extend it down a little bit, um, now I know the sport grills have that, but the sport grill was like a hundred to two hundred dollars brand new. This one's not that bad, so it's not gonna hurt my feelings to cut it up before it even mounts to the truck. We'll mount it and make sure it fits, but um so this is what we're gonna do. But let me show you what what is gonna be even cooler. What are we gonna do to make it cool? What? Another package? Oh my god. What do we have in here? Hmm, is that look? It couldn't be. It is. If I can get the bag open. Stupid bag. I guess I should have took one out before I did the video. Spikes. We have spikes. Now, where in the world are these ones go? I think we got a hunter here. Well, the spikes are going to. We're cutting these. Um, we're cutting this, this, cutting this straight, filling in that, cutting this. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a, either a mold off of this or up here, and we'll make it so it angles right here. Each side's going to angle because I just want it to look different than everybody else's. So, and then we're going to make a either fiberglass, metal, or plastic. Haven't got that far yet. Like a one inch line all the way around, just like you see on a lot of the other trucks. But instead of having a little ribbit, uh, we're going to have the spike. In the middle, we'll have our good old Superman symbol because you can't have the Super Ram without the Super symbol, Superman symbol. So, I guess we'll go ahead and tape all this off and we'll get to cutting this. Alright, so I put a tape there and it gives me a straight line to cut. Now you got to make sure that your tape is straight so you don't cut into the parts that you don't want to have to go back and redo. Like I said, we're cutting straight across there. 
and then when we do it, the center section will be, will be out. Now, um, there is a, a tab right here, but we'll be getting rid of that tab because we won't need it. So, let's go ahead and, um, now you can use a saw, whatever. My first one, I used a hacksaw, but I have a Dremel with a uh, cutting disc, so we're going to use that to make it more precise. You can use an air saw or anything that you want for this step. So let's go ahead and get it started. All right. So we got all that cut down through there. Now we are going to take the middle brace out, but I had I'm working on a project, so I needed to take this one, and this one out. Um, but uh, now the bottom we will be keeping, so we went ahead and sanded that. Now later on we'll go back to body work after we get it all put together. Um, once we get this cleaned up, now we'll have to clean all these up. Now if you have a regular grill that's not aftermarket like the one I just bought, it comes out with that. But this one, you gotta cut everything, it takes forever. But um, we're gonna go ahead and clean these up. Still have to do the other side. But as you see, this is what it'll look like. We'll chop it here. And then I'll show you how to fill this in to make it look just like this because it has a bezel. bezel. Right. And I'll show you how to, a trick to easy fixing that. So, let's go ahead and uh, we'll clear this up. Then we'll mark off to cut these. This episode of Garage Edition is brought to you by G-Sparks Designs. Make sure you check them out at gsparksdesigns.com.